Hey everyone, Doc Beach here with Applied Ballistics and I wanted to do a very quick overview of the ballistics and the new Garmin Tactics Delta Solar with AB on it. This is not intended to be a how to get started complete overview of features kind of video. This is simply to showcase the ballistics side of the watch and some of what it's capable of. So with that being said, let's talk about what it can and cannot do. So in aspects of what it can do, uh, it can connect to other Garmin devices, cadence sensors, heart rate sensors, uh, swimming stuff, cycling stuff, archery stuff. So it works with the Zero A1 bow sight, um, has built-in compass and maps, has built-in atmospheric, so it reads its own temperature and pressure, uh, has built-in GPS. Uh, it's got everything it needs to be a, a full-fledged ballistic calculator on board. Even though it does read temperature, there's a sensor right here, I highly recommend that you add a Tempe sensor to it because the human body laying your wrist out in the sun, having your wrist inside of your jacket will influence that temperature sensor uh, and cause errors in its reading. So having a Tempe sensor somewhere on your range bag is a, a great way to improve the use of this watch. Also. Uh, connecting it to a laser rangefinder. This does connect to like the SIG BDX 2400, 3000, the Bushnell Nitro 1800, some Victronic stuff like the Terrapin X, uh, and some stuff that's coming in the future. So to get the most out of this device, I recommend you have a Tempe, and I highly recommend you connect it to a laser rangefinder. And um, I'll show y'all some of that here real quick. Uh, it does not connect to a Kestrel. And also for the 701 users, it does not replace the 701. This device is an alternative to the 701. They will continue to be produced. They will continue to be supported and updated. They're not going anywhere. They're not being phased out. This is just another option. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this device uh, real quick and just showcase the ballistics. So the way that I'm using it though is we have our light button, our menu or our up button, our down button here, and then we have enter and back. So anytime you see me hit enter, I'm using this back here. Anytime I scroll up, it's the up and down, it's the down. And you can see that they're labeled here on the face. So let's go ahead and go into the menu. You do that by pressing and holding. And you can see under my current settings, I have 21 days of battery life left. Uh, I just charged it yesterday. I will say that's if I don't go out in the sun again, I've been getting an average of somewhere around 38 days battery life with this watch under the current settings, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go to sensors and accessories. Uh, again, I don't wanna go over everything this watch can do. That would take hours and hours. There's a mountain of features and capabilities and you can find that all on Garmin's website. But for those who want to know, um, you can see here it works with AB, uh, AB devices and Vextronics devices. So like right now, if we go into here, oh, no, I didn't want to search for a new one. Um, it works with the Zero Bow Sight and a lot of other stuff. Um, so we'll go here and we'll go here and you can see that we are currently paired with a Kilo 3000 BDX. Um, this is, this makes the use of the watch so much easier and I'll show you all why here in a little bit, but being able to just laser your target instead of using the up and down buttons to scroll to your range is a huge advantage here. Um, when it comes to getting to the ballistics, because the ballistics are embedded in this, it's not an app. There's the Garmin uh, Connect and the Garmin IQ apps, which will let you install tons of other stuff. In fact, here's something uh, actually that I've installed that's been real helpful for shooting. It gives me pressure, temperature, altitude, and a compass. Um, there's lots of things you can add to here if you'd like to. But uh, let's go ahead and go to the ballistics. Uh, to do that, I'm gonna open my favorites menu. Uh, I would hit the enter button from the, the home screen there, and you can see I've got these favorites already in here. It does have uh, stopwatch clock timer functions. So for those that need a timer for, for stages or for matches, yes, you, you can do that. We can set all kinds of stuff here. Um, alarms, timers, uh, stopwatch, and alternate time zones. That was a question that came up, so I wanted to show that. Now we'll go into the applied ballistics. I'm just gonna hit enter on the AB mode, and you can see how quickly it calculated that uh, almost 1600 yard firing solution. Now this stuff, uh, the range, it's connected to a range finder, so I could update that by lasering a target or going to quick edit. 
uh, and just scrolling up and down. And you can see why rangefinder is advantageous here because it could take a moment to scroll if I needed to make a big change. The direction of fire is actually controlled by the compass. So you can see there, I could just change the direction of fire using the built-in compass if I wanted to. Then we have wind one, wind two, and then wind direction. So that's how easy it is to manipulate uh, everything for your firing solution. You also have a ballistics display here. This is customizable. It tells you your current rifle profile name, your current target that you're on, or and these are, you know, I could change the target name from T1 to anything I wanted. And I can change any of these. So if I was to go to change fields, I can customize what I want these fields to be as well. So pretty simple to use, um, pretty intuitive here. And I'm not gonna fully go through all the features because I wanna keep this short uh, so you guys can just kind of see stuff here. But if I were to hit uh, the enter button and bring up this menu, uh, you can see we have a range card and uh, this is completely customizable. Aside from being customizable, once it's calculated everything, it's calculated the full firing solution. I just hit over here on the enter button and I can flip through what I want the second column to be. So pretty easy to use. We also have a target card. We've got 10 targets on here that are all completely customizable. We've got our environment, which is currently on auto update. Um, it's pulling temperature from the tempi that I've got. Uh, here's our latitude. Here's our station pressure, which it's using an internal sensor for. So all of that it's capable of doing on its own targets, profiles, and then setup. So we can turn certain secondary effects on and off. We can adjust our units. Um, profiles it's got the entire bullet database built into it so you do not need an external device although it will have an app for gun profile management we're currently working on so you can do it that way or use AB analytics to upload them via USB cable but uh, all of the the CDMs are pre-programmed on the watch so pretty easy to use does have ballistic calibration in case um, anybody wanted to do that as well so we'll go so we can go, it's got sight scale factor, we can calibrate our muzzle velocity or do a DSF calibration um, or do a muzzle velocity temperature table. All those functions are on there. Uh, but in an effort to keep this as short as possible, hopefully that was helpful. Um, and just a quick overview of how the ballistics works. But uh, very simple, we just, um, you can actually hold this button to bring up a wheel of uh, programs or we just go to our favorites. Uh, it's already programmed in there so you don't actually need to add it and then we would just hit enter and now we're at our ballistics uh, so if you guys have any questions please let us know we are working on how to and getting started videos um, and I really hope this helps thank you